Rob Crane, another day in the greasy mess of Rob Crane. Well, keeping our equipment up to uh, par, spec. Um, here's uh, the 110 Garland. Just replaced an airbag on the air ride system. Um, my greasy mess. There's a forklift, bucket scoop, tobacco, I mean, a uh, scraper. Um, that's a 90. We're going to flush out the uh, recoil. Uh, probably uh, put another radiator into this. Try to uh, boil it out. That's a 90 foot garland. It's running and doing great. Just want to make sure since it's getting summertime we want to make sure everything's up to par and beat the heat in more ways than one. Uh, here's some of our fleet out here. The one I just got done working on. The one ten. Number 66. This flake is running. A new operator and driver. <laughs> There's our five ton. It's another old Dyna lift, a one ten behind it. Another uh, Dyna lift to the side of it, a hundred. The tractor and trailer. And then over there on the side is the thirty five ton. You see how that. Over here we have the 33-ton national and the 70-ton. And that's the 70-ton there. There's the national on a Peterbilt chassis and truck. Awesome crane. Remote. Kit runs both of these. Our operator and driver. And, uh, fabricator and all in one. This guy really is a smart dude, man. He's a good friend of mine. Awesome operator. Best hydro operator I've came across yet. He runs this national here, the 33 and the 70 ton over here. There's some units that we got stored here, AC units. This is Dick Berta. <laughs> That's the 7010 Hydro. Which is six parted right now. We just did a 52,000 pound uh, building for AT&T here in the yard today. Along with some other uh, uh, wireless uh, poles to go with that building. Inside that building is full of uh, all the receiving and transmitting equipment. Very nice, awesome truck and crane. And over here we have Pops' uh, Dino Lift of Dinosaur Monster, which I just did the cab on it, painted it. Competition Yellow. It's a 135 Dino Lift. They don't make these no more. These went out and Dino Lift went out of business along with Garland, Spano Crane Sales, and Signal Hill and Long Beach in the 80s due to a lawsuit that's a very we're getting ready to do the crane in the bed have it painted this weekend and then she really ought to be looking sharp same yellow as the as the cab there Roth crane been in the business like my uncle since 1950 Uncle Larry, he runs A&A &A Crane, owner and operator, Jack Lytle, which is the owner and operator of Roth Crane. Both men are very successful and skilled and talented. And that's about it for today. The max out, the 3010. Uh, Pops is running at Robert Shore. And... 
responsibility for the day. I got all my mess done. And as you can see here, I'll turn the camera around. I'm a greasy mess. Ain't nothing clean about these things. Hydro repair, hydro crane repair, a rock crane. Once it's done, it's done, and it's finished, and it's ready to go. So, thanks for watching the video. If you ever need a lift of anything, 70 ton and lower, give us a call. Roth Crane Service, 3238 West McKinley, Fresno, California. Jack Lytle, the owner and operator of Roth, Roth Crane Service.